What's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take our application and basically protect it with some authentication. So right now we have like this page where you can see all the auctions, but we only really want to let someone do get to this page if they're authenticated, if they're an actual user. So what we want to do is we're going to, this is taking you to this page even if you're not uh, authenticated. So we need to fix this. So first off, I was looking at a React Native project that uh, Feathers.js actually had, where they did a chat client. And what they did here is they actually just used um, async storage. Let me see, here it is. Um, notice how with their authentication, they did storage and then async storage. So it looks like Feathers.js might handle storing it to async storage for us. Um, so I kind of want to try that and see if it does do that for us. Because if you remember, in our uh, API here, we were actually saving the access token. But it looks like if we add async storage here, it should add it for us. Async storage from React Native. So now down here in my REST client, and this is in modules and our index. Um, I'm going to put storage and I'm going to put async. And so we'll see if, I want to test to see if this will actually add async uh, the token. So now I'm just going to comment out this line here in our API. And now to actually check um, whether um, we're having uh, the user authenticated. We're going to use um, this example project as our uh, basically as our use it as an example for how we're going to do it. This is a popular um, authentication example. It has over a thousand stars. Here's how they do it. I'm just going to copy this and then I'll explain how it works over here. So I'm going to create a new folder called components. And we'll put that in here. We're going to call it auth required.js. Paste this in here. So no paste. Okay. So we're going to use connect. We don't need push state from Redux router. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. So what this is going to do, how we're going to actually get this to work is in our routes over here. Um, here we go. Is we're going to import auth required from, and we need to go up a folder um, into components into auth required. And any pay any component that we want to basically have the user logged in, we say auth required like that. So basically, uh, we're creating a function here that makes this component um, authorized, that checks authentication for it. Now let's actually get into how this is going to work. So first off, um, we're only really going to do stuff in component will mount. Um, check auth, we don't need this. We're just going to have a render. Okay. And we're going to get rid of this. So just pare it down a little bit. And for our connect, before I go and explain this, I just want to kind of get it set up. It's going to look very similar to this where we also map dispatch. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. There we go. And we could actually just make this a function if we wanted to. There we go. And we return bind action creators. So we could actually just return like that. Okay. This is tabbed weird. Since we only, we're not going to have. We're only really going to have one. Well, keep it like that. So 
So we're going to call something called request auth and dispatch. And we also need to just copy that. OK. And now I can go through and explain how this is working. So bind action creators and connect. These are just what we're using to basically connect to the Redux store so we can get access to things. Um, we don't need any of this. The, what we're going to be getting is the state. We're going to get the user um, from the state. And basically what we're checking is whether the user is authenticated. So um, to do this, if the user is authenticated, basically um, if we go over here to modules, we'll notice, for example, user. When the user logs in, we have a reducer here. Um, maybe it makes more sense to go to Saga. When they log in, after they log in, we call this receive login. Um, and when we call receive login, it actually adds the user to the state. And we should be able to um, actually see the user. We should get the username um, and uh, their email, that sort of thing. So coming back to auth required, um, if this object exists, we know they're logged in. So what we can do is we can say object.keys on this.props.user. So we're checking to see, um, and here we go. We're checking to see if this is an empty object or not. Um, if it is an empty object, then we don't want to show anything. And if it is an empty object, we can show like a loading screen. So import loading from loading. So we, we need to create a loading component real quick. So loading.js import react from react and then we're just going to import text from react native and we'll just export default we'll just make a very basic function and we'll just say loading or component i mean there we go so the first thing when this component is uh you'll notice how we're taking this component um, as a parameter to this function. So you notice when we called the route over here, we passed in view auctions, for example. So right here, we're going to check the auth, which we're going to call request auth, is how we're going to call it. This is where we're going to basically go to the server and check whether the user is logged in or not. And then if they're logged in, we get the user and we add it to the state. And right here, we're checking if the user um, basically is in the state. If it, if it has basically zero keys, it's not in the state. So what we'll do, oops, what we'll do is we'll show a loading screen. But if the user does exist, we can go ahead and show the component because they're authenticated and they're good to go. So that is how that is working. So this request auth is what we need to create. So import request off from uh, we're gonna get this go up we're gonna go up a screen and we're gonna go into modules user and we're gonna add this to the actions this is gonna be a user action so we're gonna request auth we're gonna go to the server we're gonna check if they're authenticated using async storage the token that's saved there after you log in we're gonna check if they're authenticated if they are authenticated then we're going to put the user in the state and then we'll stop seeing this loading screen um, and we'll see the component. But if the user, for example, if authentication fails, we'll actually redirect them to log in and we'll do that over here. So now this page is, um, for the most part, all good to go. So we will, oh, we actually just need to, in our connect function here, map dispatch, also call this guy. Okay. So now in our actions, we're going to create a request auth. And we're also going to receive auth. So we can copy those. Receive auth. Requ 
request off. Receive off. Request off. Okay. So now we have our two actions set up. Now we can come into our saga and start listening. So now we're going to, this is going to be off saga. This is going to be call off. And we need to import up here at the top, request off and then receive off. All right. So now we're going to be listening for request off. And that is what our uh, component, our auth required component does. And then we're going to call auth here when it happens. Here we don't have to worry about any kind of form, so we can get rid of that. Don't need that. We, we are going to have something like this. So if there's an error, we'll do one thing. If there's not an error, we will receive auth passing in the user, that's good. So here we're gonna call, so we're gonna create a new function or API called authenticate. So we're gonna call authenticate. And we really actually don't need to pass it any, func any parameters here. Um, it should be getting the token from the async storage. And okay, so we're gonna call authenticate, we're gonna get the response. We'll print the response just so we can see what we're working with. And then we check if there's an error. If there's an error, we redirect you to the login page because that means you're not authenticated. If you are authenticated, there's no error. We pass the user to um, receive auth. And this is actually something we will have to handle in our reducer, uh, the receive auth, which we'll do in a second. But first I want to add this authenticate function. So authenticate and we will just take nothing and nothing is going to go here. Literally just authenticating. And you don't really have to worry about a response for the error. Or I guess you can just show the error. Error or response is equal to error. So you can see what the error is. And now, I mean, we're console logging the error already. So we don't need to console log it here because we're already logging the response. Okay, so our authentication uh, function will try to authenticate and then it just returns it back. Pretty simple. This is just something we're getting from Feathers.js. Okay. So now let's go to our reducer. So now we're gonna wanna add actually, so now we're gonna handle two actions, right? Receive login, receive auth. And notice how they actually do the same thing. They just set the user. So what we can do, if we go to Redux actions, um, there's a combined reduce or combined actions that you can connect them together. I'll show you. Here we go, combined actions. And because they are going to map to the same thing. So here we're going to say combine actions. I think it's actions. Yep. And here we pass combine actions. So now whether we receive a login or we receive auth, we do the same thing, which is to set the user. Okay, now um, theoretically this should work. So let's go ahead and give it a test. So I'm gonna pull up my log right here. So we can see what happens when we refresh the page. And we refresh, and we might have some syntax errors too. Okay, unexpected comma on line 19. So go back to auth required 19 and there's not a comma. We're returning, there's not a comma. 
unexpected token comma expected comma 19 we just see search for a comma there's a comma here a comma there a comma there all those look fine um yeah I don't know why maybe there's something else is our brackets mat matching up yep this is good there probably something silly I'm missing here stop props the user object at keys equal equals zero we render this else we render that It is auth required that's getting an unexpected error. All right, I mean, we can just try wrapping this in a view, I suppose. See if that does anything. Maybe it doesn't like that. So now we're going to import view from React Native. Give that a refresh. I guess it's not rendering, so that shouldn't change anything. Should still get the same problem. Ah, auth required is not a function. F funny enough, that fixed it. I guess it just didn't like this. Okay. So, looks like we're having a problem. Auth required from up. Is this the right path? Up one components, auth required, auth required, and then here. Auth required. I think it's just the naming there. You need to change the class name. Nope. Okay, auth required.default is not a function. Return connect. Um, not really sure why it's not liking it. Oops. And close modules for a second, close all this. So let's console.log auth required. Let's see if that's even existing. Hello. Uh, so it looks like it's undefined there, I think. So hello, yep, it's undefined. So we, for whatever reason, our importing of this, it's gotta be the wrong path, right? Routes, components, auth required. Oh, here it is, export default. I was expecting export default and it's not what I was doing. Request auth is not a function. Request auth from actions. Oh, here it needs to be this dot props. Refresh. All right, cool. And it took us to this login page. Now we have a Bob. I create a Bob user. Um, now, if I log in, we should be able to see that one page. Um, and I don't know what page we're currently on. <laughs> I think maybe this is the loading screen, possibly. I'm not sure if it worked or not because we're getting a blank screen. So just so we can see what page we're on, let's console log when we're here, I suppose. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to add like something. I guess let's do an R auth required. Let's console dot log this dot props dot user so we can see if we get a user or not. Console dot log user. And let's tab this over because this is messed up. Now when I refresh, we should see a user if it's working. Okay, yeah, so authentication, well, is authentication working? Yep, authentication is working. So notice, first time it loads, the user's 
empty like we expect. Um, and then what happens is once we go and get the access token, like we, we request this from um, the server, we authenticate, it then comes down here to user, and then uh, we now have this. So I think what's happening is why this is blank over here, and we can get rid of this. I think it's because we're wrapping it with view, and you'll notice if we go to view auction here, a view wrapped in a container. So this is kind of a hacky way, but what I'm gonna do is just get rid of this container here. And I'm gonna add that container over um, in that other thing, and our auth required. So now we're gonna view container from native base. Cannot find view, oh, it should be container now. And awesome, so it authenticated, we can see our user right here. Um, I guess it's old, but you can see it as it fetches the response. So we get our user, it authenticates, and then we're showing these. But we're not showing actual auctions right now. These are just like dummies. So in the next video what I wanna do is I wanna actually call the server and uh, load data from it, load the auctions that exist. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.